we'll continue with the lesson series, Our Place in the Universe. In this lesson, we'll look at the moon. Now, we're not going to get into the details of the moon, but just sort of how it appears to us on Earth. A moon is a natural satellite that orbits a planet or asteroid. And here's our moon. Of course, a very famous picture uh, was taken from the moon of Earth. This was taken in 1968. Now, in this diagram, it will help us understand why we see different phases of the moon. Here we have the sun up, up at the top of the picture here, and we have the orbit of the Earth, and then we have the moon in its orbit around the Earth. So first of all, when the moon is between the Earth and the sun, we, we experience what we call a new moon. We can't really see the moon because the moon is sort of close to the sun in the sky. So during the daytime, the sun is so bright, it sort of washes out the moon. We can't see the moon in the sky. But let's uh, go to this uh, uh, time in our orbit where the moon has now gone on the other side, orbited around to the other side of the Earth. So the Earth is between the moon and the sun. Here then, we see the full moon. So the light from the sun strikes the, the uh, surface of the moon and reflects back to us, and we see the entire surface of the moon. And then again, over here in this location, the moon has made it all the way around the Earth, and again it's between us and the sun, and we're back to a new moon. Now these pictures down here then show the phases of the moon. So in between a new moon and a full moon then, we've got these phases. We've got a waxing moon. And we can start to understand why we see more and more of the moon here, because as the moon starts to uh, move in its orbit to around the sort of the side of the Earth here, we are seeing the sunlight as it is reflected off the moon's surface. And as it moves around to the back side of the Earth here, then we're going to see more and more of the moon's surface. And then it's going to continue on in its orbit, and we'll get the waning stages of the moon. Now we're going to take a look at this animation here to give a sense of uh, uh, how the moon appears to us as it orbits the Earth. So again, here we have the sun, here's the Earth, and the moon. We'll start off in a position between the Earth and the sun. Now we'll let it play. So here goes the moon in its orbit around the sun. And if we look up here, here we see the phases of the moon changing. As the moon approaches the position behind the Earth, as it were, the entire surface of the moon is illuminated and now as it comes back around we see less and less of the moon. Now let's see this again but looking at this image down here. This is the moon as it is seen from the side. So we're looking at the moon where this gray arrow, arrow is. We're always looking at the moon from this location. Notice here we don't see the phases of the moon, we see the moon rotating. Now, why don't we see the moon rotating in this uh, up here from, from Earth? Why don't we see the moon rotating from our perspective on Earth? And the reason is, is that as the moon orbits the Earth, it's also, here it goes, it's also spinning. So it rotates about once per orbit. So we see the same sort of face of the moon uh, towards us uh, from Earth. Because as the moon orbits, it's also rotating once per month, basically. If we were to follow the moon and always be watching the moon from the side, as we see, now we'll repeat the animation again. So again, if we always sort of look at the moon from the side here, we would see the moon rotating. And again, it rotates then once per orbital period. So sometimes though, uh, the moon, and as it orbits the Earth, the moon can be between the Earth and the Sun in such a way that the shadow of the moon falls on the Earth, and that's called a solar eclipse. Now again, let's see why that happens. First of all, in this diagram, in the bottom part of the diagram, we see what a solar eclipse is. The moon is between the Earth and the Sun over here, and the, so the shadow of the moon is cast down onto the Earth. So if you were at that location on Earth, then you would see the solar eclipse. 
Now the reason why a solar eclipse doesn't happen every month is that the plane of the orbit of the moon is somewhat tilted a little bit. So oftentimes the moon is a little bit down here, a little bit below or a little bit above and so the, the shadow is cast out into space. It doesn't land on the earth. But uh, every so often the moon is in just the right position so its shadow lands on the earth and we get a solar eclipse. And incidentally over here we'll see what a lunar eclipse is. The lunar eclipse is when the Earth's shadow hits the moon. So the moon moves into the Earth's shadow. Now they show it appearing a little red here and the idea is as the sunlight uh, penetrates through the Earth's atmosphere a lot of the blue light is scattered leaving some of the reds and so some of the red light uh, does illuminate the moon and so it appears a little reddish here. But back to a solar eclipse. Uh, in Idaho Falls in 2017, this is what the sun looked like. And then as the moon moved across the sun, we get the eclipse. The moment of totality looked like this from a GoPro camera, just kind of cropped in. And from a camera with a longer lens, this is the moment of totality. And we see some of the, uh, the sun, the sun's uh, corona here, and some prominences, solar prominences. In 2019, in La Serena, Chile, there was another solar eclipse. This is off the coast of Chile, and here's the Pacific Ocean. And here are some shots of uh, a bit more zoomed in. And we'll take a look at a time lapse of that solar eclipse. And just a reminder, uh, oftentimes the moon will be near the sun during a new moon. And so we don't see the moon in the sky during the new moon. But occasionally the moon passes directly in front of the sun and we get the solar eclipse. So it just happens to be sort of a lucky coincidence that the moon is just the right size and at the right distance to just cover the surface of the sun. And we get this beautiful spectacle.